We now House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff, Democrat of California. Uh, Chairman Schiff, uh, do you want to respond to what you just heard the president say? He uh, talked about how Biden had done something wrong and that there was no quid pro quo in that conversation. Well, if that's the case, then why doesn't the president simply release the transcript of that call? Uh, and I don't know whether the whistleblower complaint is on this allegation, but if it is, and even if it isn't, why doesn't the president just say release the whistleblower complaint? Clearly, he's afraid for the public to see uh, either one of those things. Uh, and we're determined to make sure that the public does, that the nation is protected, that if the president of the United States is browbeating a foreign leader, uh, at the same time he was withholding a vital military assistance that Ukraine needed to defend itself against uh, Russia, uh, and trying to get dirt on his political opponent and yet a second campaign, then the country needs to know about it and we need to take defensive steps. Well, I said that to Secretary Mnuchin just two minutes ago, why not just release this to, to settle the issue? And he said because it would set a horrible precedent because world leaders should be able to talk to President Trump without having those conversations shared. Your, your response to that? Well, not if those conversations involve uh, potential corruption or criminality or leverage being used uh, for political advantage against our nation's interest. Uh, and that's what's at stake here. Uh, this would be, I think, the most profound violation of the presidential oath of office, uh, certainly during this presidency, which says a lot, but perhaps during just about any presidency. There is no privilege that covers corruption. Uh, there is no privilege to engage in underhanded discussions. Uh, you know, and, and again, I don't know if this is the subject of whistleblower complaint, but if it is, it needs to be exposed. And we know the inspector general have found that complaint urgent. We also know the inspector general found this did not involve a policy disagreement. It's one thing if you're talking about a presidential communication that involves a policy issue. That is not a valid whistleblower complaint. But here the inspector general said, this is not what's at issue. We're talking about serious or flagrant abuse, impropriety, potential violation of law. Uh, and there's no privilege that protects that. Uh, and the reason I think that if these two issues are in fact one issue, if there is a relationship between this complaint and this issue, you have not only this illicit conduct by the President of the United States, but mm -hmm. you also have the added element of a cover-up.